What's up, Elite 10X athletes? I'm Zay Tiggs, and welcome back to another video of Official 10X. Today, I'm gonna be sharing four steps on how to master your shirt on press. Uh -oh. Now before we begin, it's important that you guys know the difference between a bend on press and a straight on press. The bend on press is a more strength based skill focusing on your shoulders, biceps and triceps supporting the movement. The straight on press also requires a lot from these muscles but focuses more on flexibility as well as your upper back muscles. You want to make sure you build a solid foundation when it comes to balance and strength. So for this movement, you want to be able to complete these requirements before attempting the straight arm press. You want to be able to hold the handstand for at least 30 seconds, hold an L sit for at least 15 seconds, and be able to do at least five handstand push-ups against the wall comfortably and with good form. There are many different variations to performing this exercise, and today we'll be incorporating tips and progressions to get you on your way to mastering this movement. As I mentioned before, you want to have good flexibility on your shoulders and wrists especially your hamstrings, as it'll result in better compression, making this movement a lot easier. Meaning, trying to get your hips as close to your belly button as possible. The more compression you have, the less you have to lean forward, and the less strength you have to apply for this move. What you notice if you lack flexibility is compensating by leaning forward way too much and your hips way back from your stomach. So with that being said, let's move on to these progressions. They're gonna help increase your flexibility, strength, and get you on your way to mastering your straight arm press. All right, so this first regression is a straight leg negative handstand against the wall. Let me show you what that looks like. Alright guys, so this progression right here is going to take you through the full straight arm press by doing the eccentric of it. It's going to help you understand the movements and motions of the press by making our bodies go through the full range of motion that this move requires. At first, you might find yourselves coming down really quickly, but keep working on it. The slower and more controlled you're able to perform this movement, the faster you can move on to the other progressions. Alright, let's move on to the next progression. That's going to be pike walks. Let me show you what that looks like. walks. A great move to practice the feeling of shifting your weight and balance from your feet to your shoulders. You'll also be working that initial start to the straight arm press by engaging your scapulas and upper back muscles that'll get you closer to stacking your hips over your shoulders. This move will also work on increasing your compression by using less strain and more balance, control, and flexibility. Alright, let's move on to this next progression. We've got the tuck handstand hold. Let me show you what that looks like. All right guys, there you guys have it, the tuck handstand hold. This move is gonna help develop that straight arm strength as well as strengthen your wrists and shoulders by transferring your weight onto them by being in that position. If you find this move too difficult, you can alleviate some weight by using your arms as support while keeping them locked. Let me show you what that looks like. There you have it. Practice this move to develop the strength in your wrists and shoulders. So you can eventually do an unassisted tuck handstand hold. All right, moving on to the last and final progression. We got elevated pipe pumps. Let me show you what that looks like. 
you will need an elevated surface. So find a chair, a box, anything that's gonna help elevate your feet from the ground. Let me show you what this looks like. There you have elevated pipe pumps. In the beginning, as you just saw, you might start off with small pumps, but eventually you wanna work your way to doing full pumps into a full handstand. Once you feel comfortable pumping up into the full handstand, now you can start reducing the height of the elevated surface, eventually making your way down to the floor. So once you've reached this point, you've successfully unlocked the straight arm press. And for the full step-by-step -step straight arm handstand press technique guide, download the Denix app and become a member. Get full access to daily workouts, workout programs, and more technique guides like this one that'll get you in the best shape of your life. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and share this video with a friend who's trying to unlock that straight arm handstand press. Don't forget, we post every Sunday at 8 p.m. USA Eastern time and comment down below and let us know what you guys want the next video to be about. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes of this upload, you always have a chance to win some free Denix gear. And if you guys want to see more of my personal content, make sure to follow me on YouTube and IG at ZayTigs and I'll see you guys next time. What's up, Denix athletes? It's Chris Heria. We've just released the update to the brand new Denix app. So if you haven't already, download the Denix app in the App Store. Make sure you're updated to this final version and become a member to get full access to the brand new features, brand new programs, and all new content. Join the millions of other Denix athletes around the world getting in the best shape of their lives today. Before I go, the Denix crew and I will be out on tour in Barcelona, Berlin, and Rome. So if you would like to attend one of our workout events, then make sure you go to thenix.com slash blog slash events and sign up right now before we're all sold out. If you like the music that you hear on this channel, then make sure you're following me on SoundCloud. As soon as I reach 10,000 subscribers, I'll be releasing all the music you hear, as well as some unreleased tracks that you guys haven't heard yet. And thanks again for watching. Mad love, peace out.